Hey, Don Victor here. I want to thank you for watching this video. Uh, I reached out to you and I wanted to invite you to the Art Life group. And what that is, it's a private Facebook group. And we focus on three aspects. We focus on critiques, composition, and commerce, or uh, the ability to sell your work, your salesmanship. Because over the years where I found a lot of artists suffer is in those three areas. So specifically in business, a lot of times artists are just not business savvy. Uh, they, they don't really know how to sell. They don't know how to sell themselves or artwork. They don't know how, uh, they don't understand the psychology of sales. And so they miss out on a lot of opportunities because they just don't know. Okay. The second part is composition. The number one part of your artwork, since you're running a business, you're selling a product or a service, let's say you're doing commissioned portraits. The number one place for you to get a big ROI, especially if you're like an older artist, maybe you just finally retired or, you know, your parents have in a lot of cases maybe have passed away. And so the kids are out of the house and finally you have some time to, uh, paint again, you know, uh, but maybe you've been at it for many years as well. And you want to get to that next level. Maybe you're getting to a place where you're just kind of tired of copying landscapes and eyeballs and teeth and photographs. And you want something that's going to engage your mind a little bit more or a lot more. And uh, and so what we want to focus on is the storytelling, but specifically through composition. Composition, you know, you can be an incredible painter, great draftsman in terms of drawing. But if your composition suck, your painting sucks. And that's hard to hear, but that's the reality. Now, you can be a mediocre painter. And if you're great at composition, you will engage people for generations. But an incredible painter who's mediocre at composition will be forgotten. And, you know, it's interesting. That makes me think of Degas. Degas once said, there are painters who are far better, better than I. But because I remember I'm a draftsman first, meaning a designer, a composer first, I will be the one they remember. And so he understood the importance of composition, and that's where he put his focus, um, where other people put it in painting and capturing the lights and this and that. Even Norman Rockwell in his book wrote, before I ever think about texture or color, my drawing and my design have to be perfect. And so that's where we want to help artists grow, because if you want to break through the noise that's in the art world, an incredibly well-composed work of art is an incredible way of doing that. The third part uh, that we want to focus on in this group is doing real critiques, solid critiques. I have witnessed so many artists over the years so frustrated because they want feedback, real genuine feedback. They post their work and their family and friends are like, oh, we love it. And they're like, well, thanks. Um, I appreciate that, but it really doesn't help me grow. And a lot of times you're frustrated because you know something's wrong with your painting, but you don't know what it is exactly. Um, and so your friends and your family want to come and say, good little artist and pat you on the head and pat you on the back and, you know, great job, you know, don't stress out. And yet there's this thing inside of you because you have standards, you have high standards and you want to achieve something and do well. And then all of a sudden you're kind of just like stuck there. And so having a place where you can get a, a real genuine critique. Now, the way that we do it here is very, very different than anywhere else. So let me explain why. Because we focus on 14 key areas, and we have a rating system from one to nine, okay? Nine being the highest level, one being the lowest level. And uh, and I have some videos on in this Facebook page that will teach you how to critique. And so when we post work of art, what's nice is we have a framework to uh, to manage the conversation. And so a lot of times artists, they'll see something, and they might not know exactly how to arc articulate it, how to capture it or quantify it. And so our art score system does that. And so if you, if you post a work and somebody says, hey, you know, I'm looking at the values of your artwork and I'm going to say it's like maybe like a seven, which is high. It means that you, you know what you're doing, but it's not a nine. It's not a high yes. It's, it's, it's yes, these are good, but it's a low yes. It's not a middle or a high. Okay. But maybe they look at your structure and they say, well, your structure is a four. It's, it's, it's a low kind of there, right? And this gives you a, a way to begin to see and quantify where you really are. And, and out of the 14 characteristics, you might be really, really high in some things and low in others. And if you're looking at 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 100 people saying, hey, you're, they're giving you lower numbers in this area and higher numbers in this area, you could walk away feeling very confident in those high areas. And now you know exactly where to hone your skills and focus in order to grow your artwork, okay? And the aim ultimately is to hit about an 85% because once you hit an 85% uh, total score out of the 14 uh, characteristics that we're, that we're critiquing, um, now you have a painting 
that can stand on its own and is worthy of purchasing, okay, just because of the quality of the artwork itself, not because of you as the artist, not because of the style or the medium, uh, in terms of, you know, if it's an oil painting or watercolor, this or that, um, but the quality of the artwork itself demands respect and a value. And you can articulate that to now, which helps you with your salesmanship um, to another, uh, to a potential buyer or another artist or, or, or whoever. Okay. So this becomes an environment where I want you to post your work and, uh, and, and then you will be critiqued on it. Okay. But we have a framework and the framework is important because it gives you more, a, a more objective way of facilitating that conversation. Okay. Um, you know, where, how is your use of color in this painting? You know, well, maybe it's, you know, are you using a deliberate, smart use of color? Maybe you're not, you know, maybe you're not even aware of that. Um, maybe you, you kind of are, but maybe you are. Okay. And so maybe let's say you are, and you have a seven, but it's a low, it's a low. Yes. So now the next question to facilitate the conversation would be, all right, John, you gave me a seven. I appreciate that. Um, what would you suggest or, or anyone would suggest to move it from a seven to an eight? How can I just, you know, make it go one more notch higher? What would you suggest? And then on your next painting, or you go back on that same one and you adjust it. And now we have a framework that's guiding people to higher standards, higher quality. Okay. So here we want to focus on critiquing, composing, and your salesmanship, running your business. And those are the three focuses of this group. So if you would like to join that group, it's called Art Life Group, let me know and I will send you the link. Okay. And, uh, and when you get inside, um, I'll put a video in there that will walk you through the systems of how to critique. Okay. Talk to you soon. Ciao, ciao.